Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Christian here back at you for a sneaker talk with a brand new sneaker review. Now today I'm actually going to be reviewing a pair of sneakers I got months and months ago, but this is because I haven't made a review on the sneaker yet and wait, did I? Let me check, let me check if I did. All right, we're good, we're good. I have not reviewed these sneakers yet, so today's video is a go. Today we're looking at the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 in the Zebra colorway. Now, if you've been living under a rock, you wouldn't know that these just restocked, but if you're in the know, if you're on the internet, if you're on Instagram, any kind of social media, really, the Zebra Yeezy Boost 350s did restock, and this time around, they've turned a limited jort and this time they've limited Jordan, what the f And this time they've taken a limited edition Yeezy. I mean, all Yeezys are very limited for the most part. Took this extremely limited Yeezy and they've essentially turned it to a GR. They like heavily mass produced it compared to other sneakers and uh, it's a lot more accessible. Resale price for this sneaker, for those of you guys who didn't know, in Canada was about $1,800 to $2,000 within the first couple of weeks. But ever since they have dropped again and restocked in larger quantities, resale has actually dropped to about 700 Canadian dollars. So that is what you call a plummet. So is Yeezy resale dead? Are Yeezys dead? I don't know. I feel like a lot of people out there are gonna make stupid YouTube videos out there saying that Yeezys are dead because resale is only double the retail price or only triple the retail price like I don't understand that Yeezys aren't dead if hundreds and thousands of people are lining up for raffles for a chance to buy some sneakers clearly the sneaker isn't dead I have worn these quite a bit and I actually I'm going to Japan later next month in July and I'm going to be hiking in these I've done a couple other videos with these I did a playing football or playing soccer in Yeezys video as well so I'll leave that linked down below if you guys want to check out that video and I also did a wearing fake Yeezys to a Yeezy lineup when I went to do some raffle hunting for these Yeezys so check that out I think that's gonna be my like big hit video of the summer this year and if you do want a pair of Yeezys these zebra Yeezys if that video I just mentioned that social experiment video wearing fake Yeezys to a Yeezy lineup hits 4,000 likes we will go buy another pair and I'll do a giveaway for it. But with that said, let's get into my review of the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 in the Zebra colorway. So these Yeezys right here, these Zebra Yeezys have to be, in my opinion, the best Yeezy to release. I know they've released a couple, I think maybe half a dozen colorways, six or seven other colorways of the V2s, and this is my favorite V2 to date. If you follow me on Snapchat, you guys know I like to wear these things quite a bit now. I was very, very cautious when I first started wearing them because I didn't want to ruin them because resale was so high and uh, I, I wasn't about to try and ruin a pair of sneakers worth $2,000. So I didn't wear it for like two weeks and then eventually I wore it and now I wear these things like religiously. Like I've worked out in these, I've ran with my dog wearing the Zebra Yeezys. And uh, yeah, I'm just really enjoying these sneakers. I enjoy wearing these a lot. These are definitely a big flex piece. If you're trying to get a sneaker that's like, yo, this guy's got some crazy sneakers, or if you want some like instant street cred for whatever reason, the Zebras specifically definitely will give you a couple of nods, a couple of dabs. <laughs> what was that? it's not that hard to clean. I've actually dropped purple slushy. I didn't drop it, it just spewed out of the machine. Basically, I got purple slushy on the upper of the sneaker uh, along the prime knit of this area right here. And uh, I just cleaned it up with some sneaker cleaning product and it came right out really quickly. If this were the cream, like the cream white Yeezys, I know cleaning would be a lot harder. And the fact that these are also sort of an off-white cream color as well, not a pure blank white, uh, it sort of hides dirt a little better than it would have otherwise. One thing I really, really like about these Yeezys is the pull tab on the back. I'm a huge fan of the V1s. And so I really like that they continued putting the tabs on the V2s, at least this colorway. We also have the supply writing right here in red, supply 350. Apparently it also can mean St. Pablo loves you. You guys can definitely see I put some wear into these with that writing of the Yeezy branding fading right there. And also, quick little uh, fun giveaway contest I'm doing, you could say. If you think these Zebra Yeezy Boost 350s are fake, do me a huge favor, or if, or if you think they're real too, do me a huge favor and on my Instagram, at sneakertalkca, tag at Yeezybusta on any picture you see these zebras. And uh, if Yeezybusta legit checks me, 
and he uses the photo that you ended up tagging him on, then you're like entered into the raffle. So basically I'll take that original picture he reposted on his page and select someone who tagged him on my page to get that feature and I'll give them $100, PayPal, Amazon, whatever you want. Hopefully that made sense. Basically you can win $100 by tagging at EasyBusta on my Easy Photos and, and yeah, you're entered to win some free money. I think these would have to be my second favorite sneaker in my entire collection. Um, and the first favorite sneaker in my collection would have to be the Band or the Bread Air Jordan 1s from 2016. I just absolutely love and cherish those things even though I do beat them up. Um, but yeah, these Zebras are my favorite Adidas in my collection and I just love wearing them. Like it's such a loud, bold statement piece if you were someone who was struggling to uh, figure out what you would wear with these I don't think the sneaker is for you um, this sneaker you really already have to know what kind of style you have you don't want to just go and throw on like a diamond supply co t-shirt and some joggers and then throw on some Yeezys I feel like you would just look like a total typical mall hype beast you really have to play it down for the rest of your outfit you want to keep it very simple very monotone possibly because when you wear these sneakers these have have to be the standout piece in your outfit because if it's clashing and you're wearing like stripes and you're wearing camouflage and then you have the zebra Yeezys on your feet it's gonna look a little weird but of course that's just my opinion fashion and your style um, is always catered by you so if you don't like what I think uh, my opinion really doesn't matter but if you have similar viewpoints on fashion than I do then you'll understand where I'm coming from I don't mean to sound snobby or anything like that I just feel like if you're gonna wear the zebra Yeezys you're gonna have to already know what kind of outfits and clothing you plan to wear this with you don't want to just buy it and then have it sit in your collection for months because you don't know what to wear it with this is definitely a hard sneaker to pull off but if you can pull it off you will pull all the ladies into your DMs. And if you're a lady wearing the zebras, you already have probably a billion people in your DMs already because you're really cool. I would recommend going your true size in the V2s. However, that might be controversial because these fit very, very snug. So if you want a very snug fitting sneaker, go true to size in the Yeezys V2. If you want to give your feet a little more breathing room or maybe you're younger and you don't want your Yeezys to be grown out of too quickly, definitely go half a size up. And if you find them being too snug for you, you can always take out the insole as well because the insole definitely adds some thickness to the overall sneaker. So yeah, it can be more comfortable as well without the insole. I know a lot of people religiously take out the insoles of their Yeezys out of their Ultra Boost, all those sneakers that have boost uh, because apparently it's more comfortable for your foot if you have it laying just right on top of the Boost overlay. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video review of the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2. I will be doing a quick little giveaway after the on feet, so I'll show you guys what these sneakers look like on feet with a couple different pants, so you guys can see uh, some different ideas, see some different fits, you could say, uh, and different combinations of what these would look like. So here we go, roll the on feet. We're back in my bedroom. Thank you for sticking through the on feet. Now let me grab the quick little giveaway prize for you guys. So in today's video, because we did review the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Zebra, I want to give away a Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Zebra. Come on camera. Come on. Come on. Push it. 
Nah, you suck. Get in focus, bruh. As I was saying, Adidas Easy Boost 350 V2 Zebra Keychain. If you want this keychain, it's gonna be a very, very simple giveaway. All I want you to do is hit that subscribe button down below. It's that red subscribe button. Turn on post notifications as well, and then thumbs up the video. One last step, comment what you think about the Yeezy Zebra 350 V2 and uh, what you think about the restock. That's it, include your Instagram username of course and follow me it is at sneaker talks yay i will contact the winner uh for this giveaway over instagram but with that said i want to thank you guys so much for spending some of your time with me today it's a beautiful beautiful day out it was raining earlier so i'm happy it stopped and now i can film the on feet portion to this video and uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you guys for 100,000 subscribers and i'll catch you guys in the next videos and maybe in the japan vlogs because i'm going to japan very soon i'm going to keep saying i'm going to japan just so i can help it settle in a little bit. I'm really, really excited for Japan. <sighs> I'll shut up. I'll shut up now. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.